All right, guys. So today we're going to do our last baby update for our 38 weeks and four days. And we also got a couple more items that we want to show you that we didn't do in our big baby haul. And stick around to the end of the video for the reveal of the baby name. Okay, so it's officially June, our due date month. And I'm 38 weeks and four days. Um, I'm actually scheduled for a C-section on Friday, June 8th. So if baby boy is not here by then, he will be delivered via C-section. And I don't know if you guys have seen him lately, but he is big. <laughs> so at 37 weeks, I went and got another ultrasound done because they wanted to do... Um, the measurements, so I got a growth scan done, is what they call it, and he was measuring 8.4 pounds then, and that was almost, be almost two weeks ago now. So, whew, big boy, like his big head daddy. Uh -huh. um, so, what we were trying to do is um, a VBAC, we were trying to do a vaginal birth after a C-section. Um, for those of you who don't know, I had to have a C-section with Alicia she was born at 34 weeks because I had preeclampsia and we had to end up having an emergency C-section with her. But because it was an emergency C-section and it wasn't like medically, it wasn't like I tried to push last time and just couldn't have her. Um, they were going to try to do a vaginal birth this time, but because the baby's so big, they don't want me to go over my due date. So the 8th was the closest day after 39 weeks, but before my due date that they could get me in. So maybe he'll come on his own but if not then we'll definitely be having a c-section on friday so i mean if anybody have any questions anything they want to know about what's going on with us you might have something similar going on or you might be going down the same path you just leave any questions or comments or anything like that in the comments below so i have a, actually have a couple appointments on wednesday before the surgery for pre-op and with the anesthesiologist to prepare me for the surgery. But anyway, we'll be meeting our baby boy really soon and we're really excited about it. Can't wait to meet him. Yeah, so stick around. We're definitely gonna have a, a either a labor and delivery vlog coming soon or a C-section vlog? I don't know. <laughs> labor and delivery. Uh, well, you're not delivering, are you? Is it, is it still, is it I'm called delivery? I'm not delivering the baby. <laughs> I thought, I mean, I thought delivery was like, you know, Deliver out to a JJ. No, it can be a fashion delivery or a C-section delivery. Oh, You're delivering a baby. <laughs> well, either way, stay tuned, and we're gonna keep you guys updated. All right, so I just got three small items that we got after the baby shower that I thought were really cool, and then the rest of them are gonna be big items, crib and stuff like that. We'll leave a description of all the no. We'll leave a link for all the things that we're about to talk to. We'll leave a link for all the things we're about to talk about in the description below. All right, so my coworkers had given me a small baby shower after my big one. And one of the things I got from there was this little health kit, which we got with Alicia. And it's called the Deluxe Healthcare and Grooming Kit. So this is a 25 piece set. Um, it has the thermometer, the brushes, combs, the bag. Um, the coolest thing I think about this set is this little medicine thingy right here. It's a pacifier. So you put the medicine in there and it's just like a little bottle and they take the medicine out and then the next thing we have um my co-workers gave me is what we call what they call piddle pad piddle pad um and we didn't have one of these for alicia but she swears by them she used to work for a baby company um and what you can use it in is car seat swing bouncers strollers um it protects against like accidents so if you put it in your car seat It just folds right over. It has a little spot for like the seat belt. And you can stick it in. So if they happen to like throw up or pee or Alicia, whatever like that. Alicia used to throw up a lot. <laughs> so instead of trying to wash the whole inside of the car seat thing and try to figure out how to put that back on. This right here is just, it's really easy to put on over top of the thing. And it's like a waterproof bag. 
and you just throw it in the washing machine. So I'm excited to give that a try. And then we got this. Somebody sent this to us, my cousin and his girlfriend. Um, it's a play in a way cart cover. You keep talking. Okay, so of course the baby will be a little bit older um, when he uses that, but it, you can put it in the cart, you know, your shopping cart when you go shopping, but it also can be used as a play mat. So it's three ways to use it. You can use it in the high chair, so you don't have to. It's a high chair cover, so if they get food down there, you know, you can just stick this down there. It'd be easy to wash instead of trying to take the whole thing off the high chair, like we used to have to do with Alicia. Um, and then it also has the play mat that they can lay out on. It has four toys on it for them to play with. So that was really cool. All right, then we got the baby monitors, and we got these at the baby shower. Can you turn it down? We got these at the baby shower, but I don't know if you remember, I really didn't know how to use it. So we finally unboxed those and figured out how to use it. Right now we have the camera set up over there near the bassinet. So you can see inside the bassinet. Um, this is really cool. It has a temperature over here in this corner that tells you what temperature it is where the baby is at. Um, so you know whether it's too hot or too cold. Um, it also has a microphone up here. So if I press this button and talk into it, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but the camera is set up over right up right up <laughs> here myself. Okay, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but the camera is set up right over there, and the baby can hear me talk. And then this also has a volume control on it, so I can hear the baby. Let me go. See you. Let's see. He's so silly. <laughs> So, um, and then another great feature is I can turn music on from here. So, I can kind of try to calm them down, I guess, if I can't get to them right that second. Um, and I can also, it also has a Wi-Fi feature, so... Um, there's an app that you can download for your phone um, that I downloaded on my phone and I can connect to the camera and I can see him even away from home. So if we had a nanny or somebody over babysitting, I can just tune in and kind of see what's going on. So that's really cool. So really great device. The next thing we got is the car seat. This is the Graco um, Snug Ride Click Connect. And I don't think they had Click Connect technology we had Alicia but it's really cool because you don't have to buy a set so um, this one came with a set but I didn't like the stroller we wanted a jogger stroller so all we had to do was get another stroller that had click connect and it'll connect to any car seat with the click connect technology so you can mix and match which is really cool because we had a we got a car seat and stroller different last time from different people and they didn't quite fit <laughs> so this is really cool. And it came with a base and we bought an extra base so we don't have to retake them out of the car. And it has different um, levels on it so it helps with your car. So this is for the, uh, what is it, state law or something. It has to be a certain amount of balance. So it's just a small knob right there. If you spin it, baby. Oh. If you spin it, it'll drop down. To make sure your car seat is level to pass the inspection, and then you got a level over here. You put two four. You got a level right there to tell you when your car is level or when your car seat is level. And you you take it out the base just by uh, pulling this in, and it comes right out. And it snaps right back in. So it's really easy. You uh, leave the base of the car. Pull the car seat out and go back to business. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the Graco Fast Action Fold Jogger with the Click Connect. It's securely, it's 
right in here. It's not gonna go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Not just sitting on the. Did you hear the clip? <laughs> take take it out. Let it click again so they can hear the clip. All right, and it's in there. Contrary to what my husband thinks, it's not just the jogging. <laughs> you can use it every day. So it has the cup holders and stuff down here. A little storage for the baby. Um, I guess when they get a little bit bigger for toddlers. And then they also have like the parent storage up here. And it's supposed to be a cell phone holder. I think we tried that and uh, mm, no. our cell phone was too big. <laughs> People don't put your cell phone up there. <laughs> but it can hold kids up to 50 pounds. It has the storage down here. And probably the best feature about it is it has the quick fold. So it's just one handed fold. See? And it has a kickstand, so it'll stand up on its own. And I will let him demonstrate that for you. Just pull this one hand, and then on the other side, it's standing by itself because of the kickstand. And that's it. And to open it, all you have to do is you want to open it or it's a little flap right here. All you got to do is pull that back, yep, out the way. And then it just folds up. All right, and last but not least, we have um, the Graco Pack and Play with Nearby Napper. We got this instead of a regular bath net because they don't stay in those long. And we needed something that would kind of grow with him while we were staying here. We didn't have room for like the full size crib and everything like that. So this has everything we need. It has the bassinet, which converts, which converts to like a little seat, I guess, that he can nap in during the day. It's like a rocker, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then a changing table. And this has a vibration feature on it. Um. And then the mobile. And this is really cool. I'm going to flip it back around. There's just a little button right here. And you can flip it. And this, this right here is just a little light and music. And you can stick that up here. Or when he grows out of this, it can stick up here too. Another good feature is it has like an organizer up here so you can put Pampers wipes, uh, powder, whatever you need in here for the baby so you can keep everything close. Now this bassinet, this thing, the bassinet and rocker come out really easily. So if we wanted to just take this upstairs, we don't have to take the whole pack and play with us. Um, and you can rock it. And it also has a thing that locks the rock. Yeah. If you just flip this down like that. So when he grows out of this little part, we'll still have a full size bassinet in here. And we actually gonna get a mattress to go in here. They make the mattresses for the packing plays now. But she didn't make one of these two was in one, so. And then once he grows out of that, this piece can come off. And then of course there's the regular pack and play. Right down here. And this um, baby changer will hold up to 30 pounds. So even after he grows out of the the top bassinet part, we'll still be able to use the changer. And then, of course, without the attachment, it does come with a nice stand. And you can still take the pack and play with you. All right, is that it? Yeah, that's it. And that's it. That's the end of the baby haul and the small baby update. So, so now, as promised, the reveal of our baby's, the reveal of our baby boy name. His name will be Omari Anderson. <laughs> I skipped the middle name. So his name will definitely be Omari Anderson. Omari first name, Anderson last name. Anderson was kind of non-negotiable. It was like, he had to kind of get that name. So, 
as everybody probably know who's watching this, we wanted a boy name that begins with an A or a child name that begins with an A. We got a lot of suggestions. Thank you, everybody that uh, suggested a name. And um, I feel like we mostly got girl suggestions. I think we did. <laughs> everybody thought it was gonna be a girl. We did too. So well, all the family thought it was gonna be a boy, but a lot of people that left names left girl names. So thank everybody that uh, left a name. Um, but we went with Amari. We are still debating on the middle name. Uh, she wants the middle name. She wants the middle name to be my middle name, which is Kentrell. So it'll be Amari Kentrell Anderson. I don't necessarily dislike my middle name, but I don't really like it. I want a middle name for the baby that can be also a first name. So like, if he didn't want to go by Amari, he can go by his middle name. Kentrell could be a first name. Nah, I, if I wouldn't go by Kentrell. So I wouldn't give him a name I wouldn't go by. That's why he's not going to be a junior. No offense, mom and dad. <laughs> but that's why he's not going to be a junior. My name is Darielle, spelled D-E-R-R-Y-E-L. I'm country. That's why I said R-R instead of R. How you say it? R? R-R. Anyway, my name is Darielle Kentrell Anderson. And, I mean, not that I don't mind my, my first name, but no one ever pronounces right. I go somewhere, it's either Daryl or Daryl or Darrell or... <laughs> anything but Darielle. So, um, I wanted to give him a middle name. What I had in mind, tell me you guys like it. If you like it, you know, say yeah. I, I like that in the comments or thumbs up this video. Matter of fact, give this video a thumbs up if you like Alexander, I mean that, Omari Alexander Anderson. I don't know if she liked that or if it was like, she didn't like the fact that it was AAA -A -A <laughs> or what. And then I was thinking maybe we could name it out to one of our grandfathers. So my grandfather is Julius and he go by Bobby. So it'd be uh, Amari Bobby Anderson, but that didn't sound right. Amari Julius Anderson didn't sound right either, not to me. And then we had, what was the other one that didn't sound right? Willie. Willie. Amari <laughs> Willie Anderson. <laughs> so I was like, no, nah, that sounds like more like a nickname. So. Then the last grandfather was Lamont. No, well, not I. I don't have a. I, don't, I didn't know my grandfather on my mom's side, so only three. The last grandfather was a uh, great grandfather, which we talk about great grandfathers. The last great grandfather was Lamont. Who's my our grandfather? Yeah, his great grandfather. Right. So our grandfather, his great grandfather. So uh, Lamont. And Lamont is a family name for us. My, it's my, well, my dad's a junior, so. Right, so his, he would be named after his granddad and his, he'd be named after his great granddad, but his dad has the, his, her dad has the same <laughs> name, so it'll be, uh. Amari Lamont. Amari Lamont Anderson, which sound the best to us out of the grandfathers, so I mean, we still, we still, it's still up in the air, so if you want a quick, Real quick, shoot us a middle name in the comments, cause I mean uh, Amari Lamont, Amari it, Kentrell, Amari Alexander. So those are the three hairliners. What no? What's the word I'm looking for? When they win in the race, those those are the leaders right now. But we still open to other options. So if you got a good middle name that go between Amari and Anderson, that sounds good. Leave it in the comments. All right, so that's the end of the video. <laughs> the name, the reveal is Omari. His name is gonna be Omari spelt. A-M-A-R-I. All right. So thank everybody that watched this video. Uh, the time is coming, so. Yeah, less than a week. Yeah, so if, even if he's not here, he's going to be here because, like she said, we're, we're having a C-section on uh, Friday, June the 8th. Her birthday is the 12th, by the way. So, it's funny because Alicia's birthday is right there by mine. Yep, so we have two June babies. 
a two June birthdays in the house and two October birthdays in the house. We really house for that. Yeah, man. And we're gonna have two UNC fans born in June <laughs> and two Duke fans born in October. So, so. she's mad because Alicia <laughs> has a knowledge being a Duke fan. So Alicia is officially a Duke fan. And she's like, I do like mommy thing yeah, too. She, but she, she still go back and forth, but. I, be with him. I think because I'll watch <laughs> basketball more. So at least they'd be like, is that a team fan? I'd be like, yeah. Because I don't watch, I watch USC, but not like I watch Duke. Like I watch Duke no matter who they play. I watch USC if they play somebody good. So when Duke playing, she'd be like, is that a team player? I'd be like, yeah, we do. So I think. She, so we have agreed that the baby <laughs> in my belly will be UNC fan. No. Yes, we did. The agreement. Yes, we did. See, uh, we, uh, we made uh, an agreement. Uh, nope. I uh, said, uh, I said, uh, can I tell him? I said the next baby can be a UNC fan since Alicia has kind of went to the Duke side. Uh -huh. But that's what I thought the baby yeah. was going to be a girl. Too bad. The first, the next girl can be a... a uh -uh, that ain't what you said. <laughs> no, my, my, little, my little man can't be no UNC fan. <laughs>